Okay, now this is the finished motor cow for the Tico motor. It's been in the tank way longer than 24 hours, so it's definitely done. And as you can see, the old paint just comes straight off. If something has a data plate or paint or sticker or something on it that you want to keep, do not put it in an electrolysis tank. It will come off too. Likewise, things like this billy is that I'm doing up. I'm going to have to drill these rivets out and take this plate off before I can put this cowl in the tank. Otherwise all that marking will disappear. This one here, I'm just going to give it a quick rub down with scotch bright. See that stick is lifting at the edges. It hasn't quite come off, but it's not healthy. You almost don't even need scotch bright on this one. See the anodic film just rubs straight off and you've got bare metal. Okay, well as you can see, I missed a few little stubborn spots of paint and particularly where that label was. But overall, it's come up very nicely. The black markings are where the rust used to be. There's still a tiny bit of anodic, anodic film on there, but for the purpose of what this is, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to scrape these remaining patches of paint off and stick it in the dryer. It's always important to dry anything that's been in electrolysis very thoroughly. Uh, if it's a casting that's going to be put under stress, so you give it a good 12 hours in a hot environment, drive off any free hydrogen that has worked its way into the, into the metal. That's the one problem with electrolysis, it's called hydrogen embrittlement. And I suggest anybody who builds one of these, look up hydrogen embrittlement on Google. Learn as much about it as you can, because it is a real problem on certain metals, particularly cast iron. The last thing you want to do is try and talk down a thin engine head or something and have it go snap. And they do go snap. Now the amount of time required to clean a workpiece depends on a lot of things. And the first time you try and clean something it'll pretty much tell you. It's a lot of trial and error in like electrolysis. There's no set formulas or times. Uh, I recommend 24 hours for a heavily rusted part with good, say, no excessive amounts of grease or paint on them. But if it's got a lot of paint on it, as you saw with the motor cowling that's been in here about 48 hours, some parts will not come off. Or you have to give it a bit of a scrape and put it back in. But it's up to the user, really. I hope you all have fun playing around with it.